What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach and I am very excited about today's video because two things are going to happen. First off, there was a little bit of an update, basically just introducing a new game mode and also we have another really fun deck to try out. But first things first, let's go over what happened in this little update um, if you guys didn't see it at all. So it's the Royal tri Trials have come out. You can see it on the screen. Introducing Royal Trials. Okay, a new competitive game mode. Uh, built special decks, fight in PvP, and achieve victories to earn rewards. Also, trials rewards include gold, crystals, unique emojis, and unit cards, even legendary cards, which is absolutely awesome. So this is another way of getting different types of rewards. Legendary cards included emojis. I think that's probably just as exciting as the legendary cards. And then it says, Royal Trials will take place on weekends. The first Royal Trial will begin very soon other improvements and bug fixes. So I'm not really sure exactly what the bug fixes were, or the improvements were, but now this tab is available and uh, you can actually check it out and see that this weekend, this very, this coming weekend, we will be able to go into our first Royal Trial and I'm really excited to see what it is, what, what's it all about. So I have no idea what exactly is gonna be happening. If you're just gonna be playing a game mode on your own or if you're going against different players and a different style of gameplay, not really sure, but super excited about this weekend, and you can guarantee that I will put out a video of me trying out the Royal Trials and seeing what I can do. But without further ado, let's jump into the gameplay right now. We are back. Let's go into this new deck. So you guys have asked a bunch of times. You guys love whenever I play the Pretzel Thrower. Here we go. We are playing with the Pretzel Thrower, and we're going to try and get some Ws as usual, I hope you guys checked out my last video where we did the shop deck challenge. Basically, just play with what's in your shop. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to pop this guy real quick. Come on, Dryad. If you pop it, we're going to be okay. Yeah. There's a kill. Okay, maybe we're not going to be okay. Let's come by now. All right, Executioner should be fine, <laughs> um, which I probably should have done a while ago, but it's, it's all good. But as you can see in this deck, we have the Plague Doctor, Executioner, Dryad, Boreas, we put Boreas back in, and then our man, the Pretzel Thrower, which if you guys didn't know, he got a massive buff, so uh, when he hits the units with his Pretzel, <laughs> he slows them, and you can actually notice the slow now, um, and he also uh, makes it so they take increased damage from your other troops, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking for a Boreas right now, just because he's going to help out a lot, but really it doesn't, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Let's see. We got a pretzel thrower. Let's level him up. Let's get our pretzel thrower going. We're going up against a guy, Kryptian, who is running the Zealot. Uh, I'm not. I'm not pretending like I know this deck. The Zealot. He's running the uh, Rogue. I think it's called. And then Engineer, Sharpshooter. Wow, crazy craziness deck. Let's just get our Boreas up, just to like make sure we're not gonna die. But really, we're focusing in on the pretzel thrower. So I'm gonna get my man leveled up. We're not just going to have him in the deck and doing nothing. We're going to have him going, look at at level three, how fast the pretzel thrower moves. He is working his little tail off. He's putting the salt on the on the pretzels, trying his utmost to just do everything. This man wants to be in the meta. If any card wanted to be in the meta, uh, it is this man right here, the pretzel thrower. So let's show him off. He's doing great. I still got the Plague Doctor Executioner combo in there. I just think it's really, really strong. I think it's really good. And I think it's really cool. Um... But this guy running, I think it is called the Rogue. Uh, this guy running that card, I've heard a couple people say try it out because it's pretty cool. And if you have, so if you don't know, that card goes off of critical damage. There's a little hair on my mic there. That's uh, interesting. Um, it goes off of critical damage. So it does like a random amount of damage between, I guess it's between one and your crit damage on the home screen, which mine is like 700 or like almost, it's probably closer to 800 now. Um, so a pretty cool concept. I'm trying to fill my board. I'm trying to get my executioner up, uh, but so far so good. He is doing the engineer deck. So the only reason I don't have engineer in this deck instead of Boreas is just because it's easier to play. It's easier to play Boreas because you don't need to line him up. You just put a Boreas down and let it do its thing, right? With Engineer, you kind of have to line him up. So I think later in rounds, he's going to have a little bit more trouble. Um, but hey, you know, I who am I to judge? I'm running the Pretzel Thrower. So let's go get Plague Doctor up. The next thing I'm going to do is get my Pretzel Thrower up to level four. I've played this deck once before, 
and I did get a W. I did win with it, so <laughs> I'm, I'm interested to see if we can actually start to trophy push with it. I mean, I haven't chosen a deck that I want to consistently play with and trophy push. Honestly, I've done like no trophy pushing as a, uh, except for the videos as of right now, but I know that's going to change. I know at some point I'm going to be like, all right, this is my deck. I'm going to, I'm going to climb the ladder. I'm going to see how far I can get. We just haven't hit that point yet, but already our boy is having a little bit of trouble, but his deck that he's running, man, that is a really difficult deck to play. Zealot, really difficult to play. Crit damage, rogue guy, really difficult to play. That's a W right there. He's only at 4,000 trophies, so I'm sure he's just having fun. And that's the main reason that I absolutely love that the season reset, because I'm just having a ton of fun. Oh, I can't click through because I got to collect my 2,000 gold. No, I <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I'm just having a lot of fun with the new season. I'm playing with a bunch of different cards. I'm trying different things. I do not have Knight Statue, Inquisitor, or either of the two new legendaries. I've gotten a couple of deck requests with those cards in them, and I don't have those cards, even though I would love to play with them. So as soon as I get, and actually maybe that's maybe incentive for me to try and do some trophy pushing because I would get a legendary card sooner rather than later if uh, if I do push up to say 4920 because then you get a legendary card and maybe it would be one of those new ones. But uh, but I'm just having a lot of fun playing around with these different decks and, and new cards and new strategies. And because the balancing changes, a lot of people are still kind of unhappy with the balancing changes just because Inquisitor is still really strong. Uh, Shaman is still really strong, but you know what? It made that, that update, even though it didn't nerf those cards into the ground, actually it didn't even nerf the Inquisitor at all. Um, the balancing changes for some of the other cards, such as the Pretzel Thrower, such as, uh, I, don't, I don't even know, Crystal Mancer maybe, uh, some of the other cards that, that got, uh, Knight Statue is another big one. It helped them so they're actually viable on the ladder. You can actually use them on the ladder. It's proven now that you don't need to use like the same, say, two decks to win games. I understand that's a little bit different at 4,000 trophies than it is at, say, 6,000, 7,000 trophies. But hey, if I'm able to do these challenges and play with different decks and, and still win games, clearly it's possible, right? This guy's also running another crazy deck. He's got the Rock Thrower in there. I have not seen the Rock Thrower in, uh, in a minute. So good for RR player once in one. I don't know if this guy is a bot or he's trying to sound like he's a bot, but that is a bot name, boy. I don't know what the all those numbers are, but you know what it was? I bet you that RR player 112232 was taken. So the only choice he had was to do RR player 112233. And, and, and it's unfortunate, all right? We run into that sometimes. Um, but let's just keep going. Let's get our pretzel thrower up to rank three. We got tribunal. I'm not paying attention all that much. So let's just combine some people out here. All right. Um, not beautiful. Not the best thing I've ever seen, but, uh, we're okay. Pretzel thrower is doing work. Let's just combine out one of our, all right. Executioner should be able to take this guy out. We do have one Boreas trying really hard. Come on, Executioner. We just need to get it down to probably like 15, maybe 13 or something. And Executioner will take it out. Okay, eight, but we did take it out. Holy smokes, that was close. Um, but yeah, even right now, I'm playing with these cards, and uh, I'm just kind of chilling. You know, I'm, I'm chilling out. Let's just get our Boreas up just to survive, you know? I <laughs> I don't want to die in the first wave right after Tribunal, so we're doing that. He's running. He's got Plague Doctor, too. He's got Bombardier. Great combo right there, Plague Doctor, Bombardier. Um, not as good as Plague Doctor, uh, Pretzel Thrower, obviously, but still a good combo. So... Let's just try and fill our board. We do have Warlock in a minute 12 now, so um, it's going to be good to have our board full anyway. I'm going to try and level up my Executioner next right there, and then keep on filling the board, and we should be in pretty good shape. Um, I feel pretty confident. This guy, again, he's running Engineer with his Boreas everything else deck. I would just recommend getting Engineer out, maybe put in Chemist, maybe put in, if he has any legendary cards, Harlequin or Dryad would be better. Yeah, notice I don't even have Harlequin in this deck. I just have Dryad. Uh, and here's a good tip. If you have Harlequin and you don't really know what to use it for, Harlequin is not always useful in decks. It's kind of like Mime to where it's not always useful in decks. If I had Harlequin right now instead of Dryad, I wouldn't know what to use it for. Uh, I don't have any trouble combining out my units. He's starting to have a really tough time, right? I can come, oh, and uh, I guess he took a hit. I didn't notice. Maybe he hit the white flag. Um, but let's, hey, let's jump into one more. Let's jump into another another game. We're just 
cruising right now with our pretzel thrower deck. But, it, but if you guys don't know what I mean, so one of the reasons I have Harlequin in there, one of my decks that I used a couple days ago was like Harlequin, Priestess, something else. Um, the reason I have those two cards in there is because for the Priestess, all I'm using the Harlequin for is to spam out more Priestesses so I can combine them out and get more mana. If you have Engineer, you can use the Harlequins to line up your Engineers. That's a super useful strategy. If you just have Boreas, Plague Doctor, something like that in your deck and you're using Harlequin, you don't really have a reason to make more of them. Yeah, in the beginning, like, so you don't brick, sure, for more Boreases or stuff. But really, it's, it's not super useful. So you'd be better off with, like... Uh, with like a vampire in your deck or a different support troop such as chemist or uh, cold mage or something like that uh, so that's kind of why it's not in this deck with dryad however dryad will always be useful yes dryad is very susceptible to bricking but with dryad you can just level your troops up any way you want so obviously it's always going to be useful to level up my troops uh, so I just, right now I'm focusing on leveling up, or ranking up, I should say, it's not leveling up, ranking up my Pretzel Thrower, because that's the spotlight for this game, and uh, and it works pretty well. So, so far so good. Let's just, eh, I was going to level up my Executioner, but let's just wait. I'm going to do my Plague Doctor, I'll get my Executioner up. Notice I'm, I'm not even leveling up my Boreas hardly at all. I, I am later on when I start getting scared, but as of right now, we're just chilling. And, uh, and I'm just using my, my methods. If you guys didn't see that tips video, basically I'm waiting until I have three and then I'm gonna combine out two of them. Works out great. Uh, and uh, there we go, got our pretzel thrower to rank three. I love how fast its fire rate is when it's, when it's ranked up, it's really funny. Uh, so let's try to get our pretzel thrower to rank four, level four. And then I'll, I'll level up my Boreas one time just because uh, I feel bad. Boreas is, is the OG homie. I've had him since video number one, which is crazy, and that probably makes some of you cringe, but I'm sorry. But here comes Warlock. We shouldn't have an issue taking this guy out. We have one more person on the board. It's going to be an Executioner. I still don't think it's that beneficial to have a ton of Executioners on your board. Oh, I didn't make that switch? Come on, now? I definitely thought I made that switch. Well, Executioner took him out, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's way more beneficial to have like one or two high-ranking executioners rather than like a bunch of them, just because it still has the same type of uh, gameplay as, say, a vampire or a chemist or something like that. It's only going to hit the amount of monsters that are on the board. It's not going to get more instant kills than there are monsters on the board. So if it already hit all of them, it's not going to do any more. But that's just my two cents. We got another pretzel thrower. Let's get one of them up. Let's combine one of them out. And uh, you know what? Let's get another one to rank three. We got another one to rank three. Let's level up Arboreus. I'm actually just going to um, get one to rank two. And then I'm going to get my Pretzel Thrower to max and see what we can do. It's probably not the best play right now to make. But, uh, but look at that. See, the Pretzel was in the right spot right there. It slowed him down, increased damage. I'm telling you, when the Pretzels actually hit your monsters... Uh, it does work. It does really it does really good damage. It helps out a lot. It's a good support troop, but obviously um, half the time they're not even hitting where you want them to hit, so not always super useful. There we got another level two. I don't mind that at all. Let's get our Plague Doctor up. Let's try and get our Executioner up. We're trying to hold on here. Oh, we got Puppeteer in under 30 seconds. Uh, that's too bad, so I'm not going to level anybody up anymore, and I'm just going to uh, fill my board because... If we, yeah, the Puppeteer is definitely going to hit our levels pretty badly just because our monsters are so far along on the board. But uh, if we have a full a full board, at least moving them around is not going to matter. We're not playing Engineer. So hopefully we can take these guys out pretty soon and start working towards the other side of the map. And, uh, and let's take on this 426,000 HP Puppeteer down below 400. Moved it one time leveled us down one time got it down below 300 still working hard moved us again and then it's gonna rank us down again so now we've only got a rank a level three um pretzel thrower let's try and get it below down down below 200 we did this is gonna be really really tough if we're gonna take this guy out i'm not so sure i don't think so it is gonna oh it almost hit a pretzel Man, that is brutal. If you let a Puppeteer go across your entire map, it ranked my max uh, 
Trapper. It's the first time I've actually used the real name. Uh, all the way down to one. So we are in horrible shape right now. And, and with that being said, um, I'm going to try my best not to level people up because we got Puppeteer again. It's probably the wrong play to make to do that. But I don't have a whole lot of options. So I think this is going to be an L. This guy's running a pretty cool deck too. He's got Plague Doctor running the Executioner. Really good combination. I like that a lot. Um, but he's also got the Vampire and Bombardier in there also. So this is going to be an L. Definitely unfortunate. That pop Puppeteer. The Puppeteer did so much work against us. Ah, that stinks. But hey, we did get two wins showing off that pretzel thrower and we uh we were talking about the the update as well the royal trials which i'm super excited about doing the royal trials and uh and i'm definitely going to do a video on them and i'm interested to see what it's what it's about i guess it has new decks you're going to play with different decks you can see right there it has like victories versus defeats so it looks like you have four options or, or four losses that you're allowed uh before you're done with the trial so you see how many victories you can get within your four amounted losses so it should be really really interesting but that's going to be the end of this youtube video guys if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will check you guys out in tomorrow's video